Hi, welcome to my channel, Josh Gordon Music. This is a Line 6 Pod Go video, and we're going to take a look at a simple um, recording setup, a mobile recording setup with the iPad. I have done a mobile recording setup video in the past, but this time we're going to go like really simple. Okay, so bear with me here um, for the camera shot here. So I've tried to capture everything. So basically what you need, um, well, I have an iPad. It's an iPad Air 4, and I'm using GarageBand. And you'll see this device here. Um, well, sorry, this adapter here. Uh, standard USB-C hub. And on the top, there's a 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones. Uh, there's a USB-C uh, port here so you can charge the iPad while you're using it and there's obviously a, a USB 3 hub here so the pod goes going into that little uh, port there HDMI port down here we don't need that right now and we have the pod go um, and basically the USB cable obviously going into here so I've got my guitar going into the guitar input and then I'm using a main out left and where this is going, uh, and you can't see it on the camera, actually, let's, let's move it here. I'm going into this KRK Rocket 5 monitor. Okay, so let's put this back here. Hopefully, I can get it back there. Okay, so you can use any kind of speaker. Um, but basically, what we're doing here is we are using the PodGo as a USB or, um, yeah, USB interface. So, and, and, and this is for the folks here that, that, that you know, like here, I, got, I have a Mac computer and all that great setup, fantastic. And I do use it for sessions, but say you're on the go, or maybe that's not what you want. Maybe you just like an iPad or a tablet or whatnot, but here, this is a great solution and you can get the job done. Basically you can, you know, if you get a recording session, um, you can get the artist, you know, or whoever, give you that MP3 file. You can drop it into GarageBand, no problem. And you can use this setup to record your guitar tracks. So we'll give you a little little sample here. So as we said, PodGo is the interface. This The audio is going into a, a, a separate monitor. And um, GarageBand is gonna be the, the program that we use. So I have it set up, so let's get some sound going here. So let's hear it. So no worrying about the tone. I'm using a Squire Classic Vibe Tele and just kind of like a cleanish twangy tone. All right, so let's, let's hit record. And so say you're doing a session you got your file and uh, this setup will work perfectly for you if you're on the go or if you're on somewhat of a budget and you can't do the Mac, you know, the desktop thing, this will work. So let's hit record. just heard me bump my guitar into the mic stand here yeah we're, we're not high tech here folks anyways but anyways you got the gist and let's play that back <laughs> So yeah, those little glitches make it real, doesn't it? But anyways, this is not to be a, um, you know, a visually dazzling uh, piece of uh, video footage. It's for the working man here, okay? So again, say you're on the go, this setup will, you, you can record guitar tracks if you get a job and you are not, you know, you're away from your, your home studio or whatever recording studio you're at, 
you can do quality pro level guitar tracks with this setup. I'm convinced of it. Whether it's the Podgo, you know, or another modeler, it can be done. Okay? So again, let's just a quick review here. So you got your tablet, you got your adapter, you put the Podgo or whatever modeler into there. And then definitely, obviously, your guitar is going to go into the modeler. And then the key ingredient for me is the playback or the, or the, you know, to hear it. So, like I said, in this case, I am outputting from here into that monitor, the studio monitor. And you can, you know what, you, you don't even need to do that. You could use here as the... Here I have the uh, the headphones, so you could you don't even you don't even need a monitor per se. If you're truly on the go, all you need is a pair of headphones, and you can put you know put your headphones in here, and you'll you'll get you'll get you'll get your sound. And I don't think you can get much simpler than this. Um, now for this kind of setup, we we kind of know what the Pod Go costs. This is an iPad Air four, uh, I believe from 2020, so you can get. And, and you don't even need to use this. You could use an older iPad. You could probably for, let's say, I'm in Canada here. So let's, let's say a thousand Canadian, which would, I don't know, the, the exchange. Let, let's call it 800 US, maybe. Maybe, maybe give or take more, maybe give or take less. But for, you know, an affordable cost, you can have a portable studio. Yes, you can do quality guitar tracks. You know, spend some time with the pod, go get those sounds and your presets built, and then all you're doing is just dumping into here. And GarageBand, uh, if we can get the view here. Okay, so there's my track that I've recorded, and you would just add a track. And it doesn't have to be GarageBand. You can use um, um, Cubasis or um, Aria Pro, I believe is the other one, um, for iPad, which is, you know, they're all great. But you can dump that backing track in here. And you can definitely record along to it. And yes, even in GarageBand, you can con you can convert this into a WAV file to send to your client. Um, I've done it before. I've I've done it via the Sound Better uh, website. I've done a couple of tracks this way. Client was happy. So again, m m what's good? What's what the what the the key is here is 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 obviously your preset. Get the preset done here on the Pod Go. And then the rest is, you know, might not seem like gravy, but it is. It actually is, you know. It's all going to stem from the pod go. If it comes if it comes sounding nice from here, and then you translate it into here, yes, you can have this as your studio setup. Yes, it can work. And yes, you can do quality um, pro-level guitar tracks, you know. And others will dispute that. Like, no, you can't. Like, okay, if you're just looking for a basic, you know, Hey, I want to record a simple guitar track. Yes. If you need like studio uh, effects and all that, okay, sure. Go a different route. But if you're just being hired to do like out here, you want to play some rhythm guitar, you want to you know, rock a guitar solo, some clean guitar. Yes, you absolutely can use this setup. And it's affordable. It works. And if you're tight on space or again, if you're traveling, this can all go in a backpack. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching. Appreciate um, all the views. I appreciate all the visitors to my channel. I super appreciate all who have subscribed. And um, I will be definitely coming out with some more presets and whatnot. Just wanted to do a little more of a, a tech video today. So again, let's see if I can get myself in here. Thanks for watching. And let's keep rocking that pod go.